Breaking news here on Dolphins today, Xavier Howard just got paid a five-year contract extension worth over $50 million, and it's fully guaranteed. And here's the wild part. It brings his average per year to $25.3 million. So Xavier Howard just became the highest paid cornerback in NFL history, wow. I mean, what I tell you, what I tell you the other day, if any breaking news happens, we are going to bring it to you on Dolphins Today in Chat Sports. So if you haven't already, if you're just coming across this video, hit that big red subscribe button now, because who knows, JC Treader might be tomorrow. There might be another big name surprise free agent the next day. X, not a free agent. We're very familiar with him. We love him. And we're very happy for him because he deserves this type of money. Now, his contract situation uh, is kind of wild. Let's go back to three years ago when he signed an extension with the Miami Dolphins in 2019 that at the time made him the highest paid corner in the league. However, a lot of other guys got new deals, including Jalen Ramsey and J.C. Jackson most recently. So he went from being the highest paid corner in the league all the way down to the eighth highest paid corner. In fact, before this extension, Byron Jones was making more money. X not happy about that. Last offseason, his agent, him, Chris Greer, they all met. They, they kind of restructured his deal for last year that gave him more guaranteed money last year. Let's fast forward a year later now. We're into 2022, the offseason. He wants more money again, and they gave it to him. He deserves it. He's one of the best corners in the game. He's been such a vital part of this Dolphins defense the last couple years, and now he's under contract for a very, very long time. He's going to be in a Dolphins uniform, I hope, for the rest of his career. Obviously, I think he, you know, he's just 28 years old. He's going to be 33 at the end of this contract. So he's going to be a, uh, a big part of this Dolphins defense going forward. I have to double check that, by the way, on the 33, because this is an additional extension in addition to the one he signed a few years ago. That's unbelievable. So Jalen Ramsey was making $20 million per year. And now Howard is making north of $25 million per year. You saw Byron Jones last week restructured his contract. We knew this could lead to something big. And this might be it right here. Xavier Howard getting paid. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you're happy for X, I want you to type X. I want to spam the chat with X. If you don't like the contract, type your D for dislike. I'm happy for X. You know, here's the thing, right? We are in an unprecedented time in the NFL. I mean, who saw Tyreek Hill getting traded, right? Players are starting to have more power, kind of like we've seen in the NBA. You saw last offseason before the allegations, Deshaun Watson was trying to force his way out of Houston. A year later, he finally does so. Uh, Russell Wilson's situation, obviously very different. But him and the Seahawks were clearly going in different directions. And he eventually uh, makes his way out of Seattle and is now in Denver. And I'm sure a big contract is on the horizon for him in Denver. And then most notably, obviously, you look at Tyreek Hill, who wanted an extension from Kansas City. They didn't want to pay him. So he said, all right, trade me. You know, that's where we're at in the NFL. Yes, X had three years left on his deal but you have to pay him. You do not want your star defensive player, the best player in your defense, to be unhappy in this era of football. They paid him. I'm happy. And this is huge for the Dolphins defense for years to come. A lot of people are saying the Dolphins defense not going to be the same without Brian Flores. We'll see. But in order to keep it a very good defense and continue to improve on that defense, you had to bring back Emmanuel Logba. You did that, you re-signed him, and you did that very, very quickly in free agency. You also, also had to go and do this with Howard. Bottom line, do it now before Howard, you know, requested trade. I don't think he would have done that, but he deserves this type of money and he got paid. I mean, I'm, I'm rattled right now at these numbers. I mean, we saw the Deshaun Watson contract, and that kind of changed the game for quarterbacks going forward. 
he got a $245 million contract that was fully guaranteed. We're going to start to see fully guaranteed a lot more in football. So buckle up. We've seen it in baseball forever, right? And that's why people are like, well, baseball money is different. Uh, Kyler Murray didn't go the baseball route. He thought he could get paid in the NFL. It worked out for him. But I think we're going to start to see more fully guaranteed contracts. Even last summer when Xavier Howard, I guess it was last spring, when he wanted to kind of restructure his deal, what ultimately ended up happening is he got more guaranteed money in his contract. It didn't change his APY, annual annual money per year. It did change, it did change his guaranteed uh, money that he was going to get. He also got more incentives in that deal. And I think that's something else that we're going to be seeing a lot of as well. Uh, Super Bowl incentives. We saw that with Odell Beckham Jr. If Antonio Brown hadn't thrown a fit, he would have gotten about a million or $2 million in incentives. Uh, but X wanted guaranteed money. He wanted to be the highest paid corner in the league. And you've done that. I'm still shook at these numbers, y'all. I mean, $25 million per year annual salary uh, for Xavier and Howard. Uh, wild, wild. And, and now, maybe you look at a guy like Jalen Ramsey. He has a couple years left on his deal with the Rams. He might be calling for an extension at this point. He's like, hey, I was basically, well, not not the best player on the, on the defense. Uh, Aaron Donald, obviously. Just, hey, I, I was the best corner on the team on a Super Bowl team. I helped you win a Super Bowl. Let me get paid now. I want Xavier and Howard money. He just did that. Uh, X, I think he changed the game. He changed the game for DBs. And, we, and we've seen time and time again, the value of defensive backs are starting to go up. Jalen Ramsey got paid. I thought, J.C. Jackson, what are you doing? J.C. Jackson got like, what, $16.5 million a year? He could have made a lot more money. I think when he signed that contract with the Chargers, we were all like, what? That's all he got? And yeah, I mean, you know, $16.5 million. <laughs> that, that's nice. But you look at this, what X just got, I think JC could have gotten something more in the $20 million range. But credit to, credit to Xavier Howard and his agent. His agent, David Carter, was the one who announced the news. Uh, a couple replies were like, please, no April Fools, right? No April Fools. Adam Schefter has confirmed it. Josina Anderson has confirmed it. So Xavier Howard is now the highest paid defensive back in football. And, and I'm curious to kind of to look at the numbers as well. He probably just became the highest paid defender in the game. Maybe in the maybe in NFL history. We know he just got the most money guaranteed of any corner in NFL history. So, wow. Congrats to X. I'm looking forward to getting back in the studio uh, very soon and talking more about this. But I wanted to bring you this breaking news video. Again, like the video if you love the Dolphins. And we are going to bring you breaking news as it happens on Dolphins today. So, please hit that big red subscribe button. This, is, this has been Will Scott. Go Fins and, and congrats to X-Man. This is this is wild.